Hey guys, just before we get rolling on today's video, please check out my reaction video playlist. The link is in the description of this video. It features every single reaction I've done. Alternatively, if there is a specific drummer or video you want to find, you can type that into my search bar. I bet he hasn't done it, any. I know most of you already know this, but I still get all of those comments and questions. When are you going to do Matt Griner? I have. Virgil Donati? What about George Calais, man? Also, if you want to ensure your selection gets done or just want to support my Wii channel, you can hit the PayPal or Patreon links. And finally, if you dig what's going on here, please consider subscribing and liking the videos that you do like. Now, there is a reason why YouTubers encourage you to like and subscribe. It's because it really helps. All right, all right, let's hit it. Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. And we're back with some more Led Zeppelin. Look, I just figured, it's been too long. It's been too long. Now, a lot of the the channel really was built off those early Led Zeppelin requests. A lot of Led Zeppelin fans were jumping in and requesting this, requesting that. And it was awesome. I created a Led Zeppelin playlist. I think there's about 29 videos in that. I did a whole breakdown on pretty in depth of what I thought made John Bonham a great drummer. He was a drummer I had missed early on um, until I started doing these videos really. Obviously I'd heard the name, you know, you hear of Led Zeppelin, you, you know, I heard Stairway to Heaven, that kind of thing, but it just wasn't something that I played a lot or it wasn't something that got requested, never ever needed to play it in bands and I just somewhat missed it. So. That being said, I'm really happy to really be discovering Led Zeppelin and John Bonham now and um, get into this song, Immigrant Song, because I had a student request to learn it and I was really intrigued from what we did. We haven't finished the song, but it's basically is one beat for the whole song, which is really interesting. You know, coming from a drummer like John Bonham, who obviously has chops, it's really interesting that he he just laid down basically one pattern just a groove for the whole song with i think no fills but um let's see how he plays it live as i say guys check out the john bonham led zeppelin playlist i've got all kinds of goodies in there there's also a bunch of stuff that got blocked if you join the patreon you can check out the led zepp videos that got blocked as well and uh, with that being said subscribe like and let's hit it So these guys, oh, by the way, I will be stopping this video throughout. So if that annoys you, please check out the original video links. I always put the links in the description of my videos. Um, but this is just for me to stop and give feedback as I think of it. And a picture says a thousand words. There's just so much. It's, it's a brilliant photo. I mean, look at John Bonham's face there. You know, he's just in the zone. This was a band i'm assuming this was from the gig i i guess you know a band just giants of the scene and uh i'm mean, just looking at his beautiful kit there the the classic sizes lm402 snare drum and just that typical simple bottom setup nice shallow bass drum i love myself a shallow bass drum i mean we've got that outside mic i mean it's just a different Outside mic on the bass drum I'm talking about there. It was just a different time, a more simple time, a different world. I would love to know what other mics. All I can see is an overhead. Is that, that looks like a drum overhead. 
uh, and a kick mic. What else was he rocking? You know, you hear this live stuff, and obviously by today's standards, it's a bit messy, it's a bit dirty, but the genius still shines through, and I love how grainy the audio quality is. It kind of takes me back. It does take me back because I wasn't there. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It takes me to this place. I feel like I'm in the audience when it's like this. So it's just raw, raw audio. Good singing here too. Really good pitch. Tight, tight band. These guys must be blowing people's heads off. Try singing like that every night. Too long. Thunderous drumming, man. Thunderous. Drumming wise, he's adding in a lot here. So the studio recording of this was, it was like I said at the start, it was just literally a groove. It's like a loop, it's like a drum loop, but except he's actually playing it over and over. Dun 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 like a machine, like jackhammer, kick drum, unbelievable forward momentum this guy creates in his drumming. Here, live, different energy. And he's ripping it up a little bit. He's throwing in some fills. And uh, it's still in the pocket, still tasty. It's just interesting hearing what he felt on the night and what he would play live. Feedback there on the guitars. Listen to that snare tone, though. Iconic snare sound. Okay. Displacement. This is what made Led Zeppelin Led Zeppelin. This jazz approach to punk rock. I don't want to stop it halfway through a guitar solo, but I'm going to have to while I still, while I'm thinking and remembering stuff. Bonham, man, this magical formula of sitting in the pocket, feeling laid back, but creating forward momentum. Daniel Glass talked about it on my podcast. I feel like he nailed, you know, what pocket is, why guys like this sound so damn good. It's, I don't want to misquote him here. Basically, he was talking about how it's relaxed, but with forward momentum, which kind of is another way of saying it's just, it's perfect. It's kind of perfect. And that there's so many strands to that, the internal dynamics someone like Bonham has on the kit. This is a very raw, basic live recording, and it still sounds good. You can still hear how good he is. This is 50 freaking years old, man. 50 years old and it sounds this good. Let's move along to the bass. Let's not underestimate that, you know, that chugging along, keeping everything lined up, the glue. John Paul Jones on bass, 
the glue. And we've got a guitarist who's capable of taking extended solos and has the chops to do that. I mean, it takes a lot of vocab just to be soloing on and on and on, soloing like this. And the headroom and the facility, the idea within the band is so jazz. This is such a jazz approach to playing rock music. You know, Jimi Hendrix played like this, where it was kind of, there was a song there, somewhat of a somewhat of a standard song, but they would use it as a vehicle for improv. Yeah, you need chops. You need chops to be able to play that. And look, with all due respect, we're going back 50 years. A lot of these chops might be commonplace now. They weren't in 1971. <laughs> Double time. Yellow. Back to the roof. Just stops on one of these, doesn't it? Oh, I think the recording fades out. And that's it. It just stopped hard at that point uh, unexpectedly. And uh, yeah, I mean, the, the photo is just beautiful. It just, as I say, it just takes you to that place. And the rawness of the recording. I really do hope you guys are listening with great headphones like I am. Um, I, by the way, recommend the Sony MD, one of these MDR7506, cheap and um, link in the description of all my videos for those headphones. Highly recommended. You need good headphones to appreciate this kind of stuff and you know, you'll hear things that you've never heard before. Um, okay, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Immigrant song drum cover coming up. And then uh, say, let's give it a month. Let's give it a month before I um, do a b whole bunch more of our drum recording. But yeah, I'm going to chuck an immigrant song in there. It's just such a great song to learn with those fast 16ths on the bass drums. Dum, dum, dum. The, even that little figure there, such a hard little pattern to get metronomic and to line up the bass drum notes right where they need to be. At that tempo for that amount of time, it's a really difficult groove. And he is just, Bonham is like a jackhammer. It's just so consistent. Absolute machine of a drummer. And um, it's no wonder he's so famous and so revered. And even with the basic recording technology and, you know, a 50 year old uh, bootleg by the looks of it recording, to still shine through and to still sound like that, amazing. Guys, as I said before, please check out my John Bonham reaction playlist. Be sure to subscribe and like if you dug the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.